The Gold Coast hinterland is one of those easily accessible places that just ooze beauty. From lush rainforest to bushland and pristine streams, the hinterland is one of those places that offers plenty. And that includes fishing. If Jules isn't skippering a marlin boat or dropping big live baits, you'll probably find him here chasing carp in one of the many streams up in the Gold Coast hinterland. Carp are now one of the most widespread species in the world. Introduced in Australia in the 1850s, they can be found throughout river systems in the eastern states and even locations in Tasmania and as far as Western Australia. A little bit of movement in the water. It's the rainwater coming from the mountains. It's Mount Tambourine in the background. So any, any of these deep ass sort of established waterways will hold the fish. What we want to do is have a bit of a look first because they're pretty hard to spot. We're looking for some fish tailing or, you know, they're feeding head down. Once you, um, once you get them feeding, they're pretty easy to spot, so. Like over there? A couple, couple of fish in the, in the shallow. Want to try and see where they are and once you get a bit of an idea where they are, we, we throw in a little bit of little bit of corn, just corn kernels. Yeah. They're, they're more, of a, more of a stubborn fish, more than a dirty fighter. So once you do hook one, they'll go for an initial run, but then just slug it out. Some of the fish are quite hefty, mm. but um, it's all good fun. I reckon we're in with a chance. We'll do all right. Let's go. <laughs> the ideal hook for this style of fishing is a size 10 mustard viking. Tie the hook straight to your main line with no swivels or weight. Crack open a can of corn kernels to use as bait. And a light setup of three to six pound mono or fluorocarbon is perfect for this style of fishing. Jules and I spent just as much time stalking the bank for movement as we did fishing. The trick is to have a good pair of spotters and when you do spot a big carp swimming by, to make sure he doesn't spot you first. So what can you see? It's a bit of a narrow channel just here that they run up and down there to go from the deeper pool to the shallow pool. Because I just saw a big swirl yeah, yeah, out there on the other side of that rock. Yeah, there's a couple down there. They've moved into the shallows, which means they're probably having a feed. Yep. But they're very hard to spot, but you keep your eyes on the on the sunny spots and you do see them. Finding these carp was relatively easy, but hooking one, well, that was another story. But it's pretty hard to complain when you're fishing in a place like this. So with no luck, we moved further along, scanning those streams for that big fish. Finally, we spotted a good school of carp and these guys were feeding. Half of fishing for me is the, uh, it's the journey, not the destination, it's the anticipation. So scoping areas out, and like Jules said, 80 centimetre carp swimming around, you can sight fish. How cool is that? Hooked on Coast Fish TV? Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or subscribe to us on YouTube so you don't miss a thing. He's underneath. He's underneath. That's it. Ready? Yep. 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Got him, mate, got him, got him. Got a bit in him, mate. It's not bad. You get the net in the water. Yep. Give us one of these. Mate, that's a beauty. Mate, that's superb. Look at that. Tell me, what kind of carp? Well, he's a European carp. Yep. Also, common, common carp, they call them overseas. Mm -hmm. They grow quite big. This one's about average. The laws with these. Well, the law states, cannot be returned to the water must be dispatched and disposed of or you can as get, soon as possible. You can get a little bit of a fine. You can get a little bit of a fine if Mr. DPI officer sees you, catches you relocating the fish, taking it home for aquarium. It's a $200,000 fine. So unfortunately this bloke has, has to be put, mm. put down. It's about a third of a house. It's a lot so of repayments. They're on the noxious, fish list, him with tilapia and a couple of others. Um, you're probably welcome to eat it, but I think your hat would taste a lot better than <laughs> no, this fish. No, I don't fish. think so. It's been, it's been a few places, but I, this is what I heard, that um, you actually can fillet it, skin it, mm. leave their fillets in milk for a couple of hours and actually take some muddy flavour out. I haven't tried it been very spoiled on the Gold Coast because we've got a lot of nice eating mm. fish mm. but this for me is just a challenge mm. and especially in, on the Gold Coast in the hinterland it's something different to do and you can bring the kids down it's really safe a couple of hours walking the bank and mm. you're on you're onto a nice fish you know half the fun of fishing is not just the fishing itself but have a look at this. I mean, how picturesque is that? Imagine taking your family down for a bit of a camp. You can fish here as well. This is paradise. It's Queensland, beautiful place. But there was still one more thing for me to do, and it happened well after my crew signed off for the day. But lucky we had the mobile phone on standby, just in case. Work, mate. There we go. That's him. That's him. Finally. He's a solid little bloke. We did it, JT. He certainly did. I right did on it. dark. Right on dark. Now I'm going home. <laughs> How intense was that? It's pretty hair raising. It was awesome. Some good fish. We're going to come back, do it again. So I hope you enjoyed the show and you learned a little bit about carp in you know, the upper reaches of the Gold Coast. We'll catch you next time, Coast Fish TV. There's one right on the edge of this trunk, but it's super dangerous to get down there. But I'm gonna have a go. Oh. Nah. It's and they smell, heavy. and they smell, mate. They smell great, they smell. Oh. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> oh. 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 That's ice. Oh, oh that is cold, man. <laughs>